Hi guys, today I want to service my hydraulic system on my Skag Tiger Cat. And uh, I was out of uh, Skag filters, so I thought I had one here, but I didn't. So no big deal. I went down to the parts store and I picked up a Stens filter. Make sure if you don't pick up a factory filter, you pick up uh, a transmission filter. Very important. So that's what a Stens filter looks like. Same thing as uh, it looks like the same thing as the uh, Skag, and the only tools you need to do this job is a filter wrench. First of all, you don't have to drain the entire system. Clean around the hydro filter reservoir, then remove the cap. As we go under the machine, you'll see where the oil filter is located. It's on the, it's by the left rear tire of the machine. Now, if you follow the hydraulic line from the tank down, you'll see right here is where the screw is that you would normally drain the oil from the tank. But it's not needed in this case. All you want to do is remove the filter. The oil will come out just the same. And when the oil is drained, by the oil filter, when the oil is drained out of the tank, you'll lose about three and a half quarts of oil. I just pre-loosened that with the oil filter wrench, and now I'm going to go in here with a piece of tin foil. The frame in here is kind of uh, awkward. So I'm going to try to keep it so I don't make a, an extra mess here on my carpet if I don't have to. Hopefully. That drain out now. I'll let it drain about 15 minutes or so. And then I put the filter back on. Before you screw the new filter on, make sure you fill it up with oil because you want to uh, omit as much air as you can out of the system. And then I'm using a 20W50 motor oil. That's what Skag recommends for the hydraulic system. So take the uh, bucket of oil and fill it up. Now just replace your filter, without spilling it of course. When it makes contact, go about a half turn more. Now refill the hydraulic tank with oil to about three and a quarter inches from the top of the fill. Now lift it up off the ground and we got to bleed the system. So you want the wheels off the ground. So you either jack it up or I use my, uh, my garage hoist to pick it up. And fire it up at a medium speed and then work the levers back and forth.
The last step in the process is to uh, remove the cap and uh, top it off. I made a nifty little dipstick over here for it. Measures three and a quarter inches from the bottom to the top. So I put it in, pick it up, and see what I got. Yeah, it's almost the same. Cool. And don't forget to check uh, your filter under, underneath to make sure that uh, you have no leaks. But that's it. You're not messing with the whole system. You're only messing with the oil filter. There's a lot less things to go wrong. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.